Hello. I'm Alan Tudyk. I'm answering questions here again. Which sci-fi conventions are we shooting at? For Con Man, for the Megacon, Phoenix Con, Momo Con, and that one is in uh, Venezuela, Atlanta. Atlanta, which is very much like the North American Venezuela. A lot of people keep asking me, how are you different from your character Ray Nearly? Well, I'm very a lot different than him. Uh, let's just look at photographic evidence. This is a picture of me. Huh. And this is a, a picture of Ray. Night and day. I mean, there are some similarities, as you can see in these pictures. Ray Nearly is an actor. I'm an actor. Ray Nearly was on a space show uh, over 10 years ago. I was on a space show over 10 years ago. Ray Neely's best friends with the guy who played the captain on the space show that was canceled over 10 years ago. I am best friends with the guy who was the captain on the space show that was canceled over 10 years ago. But this is where things change. Right after Firefly, I lucked out. I got a job in a big movie called iRobot. I was very happy. Ray Neely jumped at the first job offer he got. It was called Festoon. It was sort of a horror, sci-fi horror came down and the tick people, and the, he initially he played the tick on the back of the main tick guy, so he was sort of the, and then he took over. That set him up for the sequel, Festoon 2, Engorged. Very poorly advised, he stayed on for Festoon 3, Blood Meal, which was really the worst in the series. So his career started taking a downward spiral. I see things in a positive way, Ray sees them in a negative way. I tend to see the glass as half full. Ray sees the glass as, why the hell didn't you give me a cup? Ray's so uptight. Even when things are good, the right in front of me doesn't even understand it. He's like that guy who's like, I want to date that girl. I want to date that girl. Meanwhile, his best friend is right here. It's a girl and she loves him and she's hot as hell and she's the perfect woman for him. But he's looking over this way and he's not even looking this way. He's missing her and she's wearing a cute low cut top. Ray will never be as successful as he wants to be. No matter how successful he gets, it will never be enough. He's listening to this voice that's saying, you aren't good enough, and this isn't good enough, and that isn't good in the voice. It's his own. Ray's nuts, like a rat in a coffee can, just think he's panicked. That's a terrible way to live in a coffee can as a rat, especially as much feces as those things put out. At some point, you are gonna get out. You just climb on top of the feces. Look at his face. It's hardened with bitterness. Oh my God. It took me 17 hours in makeup to get that look. God, looks like 18 hours. Figure it out, buddy.